Hi everybody, happy World Book Day. I hope you enjoyed Hannah's uh, reading this morning of Yogi Babies. I am here with the amazing story of Supermarket Sue. So shall we get started? Let's begin. Supermarket Sue by Carl Hart and Ed Eves. The minute I wake up, I know something is different, but I can't quite figure out what. It's probably nothing. So I pick up my ball and I'm just going out to play when I'll be. It's mum. She has her car keys in one hand and a pile of bags in the other. This can only mean one thing. Shopping. Disaster. I hate shopping. But mum has me trapped and there's nothing I can do. At the supermarket, the first thing I notice is our trolley. It's enormous. I can't even reach the handle. And there's a really funny smell. Mum doesn't seem to notice. She just hands me the shopping list and sets off. Six monkeys, two giraffes, fresh lizards, three kilos of tortoises, 27 parrots, give or take, pride of lions, two bales of hay, five tins of lion food, vegetables, fruits, nuts. Right, says mum, reptiles first, chameleons or iguanas, we'll need two. This is mad, but mum seems to think it's completely normal. I pick out two green and orange chameleons and place them in the trolley. Mum says, gently now, don't bruise them. We hurry past the rattlesnakes and cobras to the tortoises. I spot a sign that says, free salad with every tortoise. So we take three. Next, we pass the cool cabinets. I say, can we get a penguin? Mum says, Okay, but get one from the back because it'll be fresher. Then this polar bear smiles at me. Please, I say. But mum is cross. No, not today. At the giraffes, we pick a mother and baby special. Then we head off to find some parrots. I've never heard such screeching and squawking. I like the tokens best, but mum says it's parts or nothing. People say it's good luck if a bird poops in your head, but I don't think mum agrees. Next on the list are the monkeys. Now, everyone knows monkeys are tricky, but have you ever tried getting six of them to sit in a trolley full of picking parts? It's impossible. In the end, I have to open a pack of nuts to keep them all quiet. Then we get to the lions. Now, I love watching big cats on TV, but to look straight into the eyes of a hungry lion, well, that's something else. Mum chooses one of the meanest looking beasts I've ever seen. I'll go and find the lion food, I say. Not that I'm scared or anything. We pile in bags of carrots, monkey nuts, bananas, seeds and mangoes. By the time we get to the checkout, the trolley is so heavy, I can hardly push it. Mum heaves our shopping onto the conveyor belt while I start to pack. It's a big job. We're nearly done when mum rushes off shouting, keep going, I won't be a minute. She always forgets something. But I wasn't expecting this. <gasps> Outside, we open the car. It looks so small. It's lucky that mums are so good at packing or we would never have got everything in. Well, I told you this morning that I thought something was different. And it turns out I was right. This has been the best shopping trip ever. Just look at all my new friends. 
I wonder what we'll buy next week. Well, boys and girls, did you enjoy that story? I think that story is amazing. Maybe the next time you go to the supermarket, your mum will pick up a penguin. Do you think? <laughs> Hope you enjoy the rest of World Book Day. And remember, later on in the day, Mark and Megan will be here with some more stories. In the meantime, have a good day. Bye.